I would now like to invite Ben Dov Selaznik, Mazkir B'nai Kiva, to address the Kihila. Chief Rabbi Mervis, Your Excellency Ambassador Tao, the Right Honourable Theresa May, His Worshipful the Mayor of Barnet, Rabbi Lawrence, Rabbanim, distinguished guests, Chavarim. <coughs> Standing here, minutes after Yom HaZikaron, we have the merit to usher in Yom HaTzmaut, the festival of Jewish independence in the land of Israel. This transition marks the feeling of wonder at how the Jewish people were taken from the depths of despair to being filled with hope. The juxtaposition of the days of memory to days of celebration in the Omer period served to reinforce the narrative of a people that went from slavery to freedom, from death to life, and from exile to redemption. Today, we understand this narrative well. There are many people alive who witnessed these events with their own eyes. But with the passage of time comes an ever-growing challenge. How do we make the story of modern Israel speak to future generations whose connection to the miraculous events of 1948 is becoming more distant? How do we persuade those who may take the state of Israel for granted that every day of its existence is a gift from God? It is not the first time in history these questions have arisen. The Torah commands us to relive the story of Pesach each year. It says, You shall teach your child what God did for our ancestors in Egypt. Our sages took this principle and created the Seder night, which has as its focal point the passing on of this great story to the children. Through asking questions, discussing matters of faith, hiding the afikoman, having tasty food and singing songs, children learn while having fun are stimulated in many different ways and identify as if they themselves had left Egypt. In this way, the festival of freedom and redemption became the festival of experiential education. The great Hasidic sage, the Safat Met, parallels the rabbinic and biblical festivals, explaining that there is an intrinsic connection between Sukkot and Chanukah and Shavuot and Purim. Chanukah reflects Sukkot, since they are both eight-day festivals centred around the Bet HaMikdash. Purim reflects Shavuot, since Esther and Mordechai led the Jews to re-accept the Torah, as we did at Mount Sinai. But where is the parallel festival for Pesach, the festival of our redemption? Writing 68 years before the founding of the State of Israel, the Sfat Emet confidently said, for Pesach, we are still waiting for the parallel festival. With the benefit of time, we can see the realization of the Sfat Emet's words. Yom Ha'atzma'ut is truly the parallel festival of redemption. And if we want to enshrine it in our nation's future, we must also make Yom Ha'atzma'ut the modern festival of experiential education. Ever since the founding of the state, B'nai Akiva has been doing just this, bringing the story of Israel to life through standing on our chairs singing, hiking through the Golan, or a series of games in a shul on Shabbat afternoon, a love and appreciation for ben of Israel is forged. The story is passed down from Madrich to Chanich, and it comes packaged with enthusiasm, creativity and passion. For the story of Israel to remain alive and fresh, it must be experienced, not merely taught. It must be discussed questioned and sung about. For over 75 years, that goal has driven Madrachim of B'nai Akiva to devote days and nights, months and years of their life to instilling a deep love and appreciation for Israel in tens of thousands of young people. However, the education you receive in B'nai Akiva is not just about maintaining the relevance of our history. It's about being proud citizens of society, giving back to our local communities, and being, the agents of and being the agents of positive change 
in Britain, Israel and around the world. And most of all, we want to affect the future by making a significant contribution to Israeli society. The thousands that have made Aliyah from Bnei Akiva UK did so because they understood the importance of our ancient homeland, but also because they had a vision for what a constantly developing Jewish state could look like with their contribution. Of the thousands who have together with their children made major contributions in all fields of Israeli life, two of the greatest examples of this are Asher Kaufman and Yehuda Avner, who both passed away in the last month. Asher was the third Mazkir of Bnei Akiva UK, who undertook Israel's first research in plasma physics, as well as becoming a leading expert in the archaeology of the Bet HaMikdash. Yehuda was Asher's successor as Mazkir, served as the Israeli ambassador to the UK and Australia, and was a personal advisor to four prime ministers at some of the most formative moments in Israel's history, including the Six-Day War, the Operation in Entebbe and the Yom Kippur War. The vision that motivated Asher, Yehuda and many others over 65 years ago is the same vision that the Madrachim of Bnei Akiva today are passing on to their Chanachim. It is a vision that is born in a shul hall, a tent in Wales or a Hachshara seminar and is formed through open, honest and stimulating debates about what the Jewish state should look like. And it is a vision which is being actualized by Bnei Akiva Chaverim in every aspect of Israeli society. Our unique brand of experiential education is the ideal way to motivate the next generation of religious Zionists. Bnei Akiva Chaverim, proud and firm in their ideological beliefs, which are fused together with an open and tolerant view of the needs and challenges of Israeli society. Bnei Akiva Chaverim, whose appreciation and vision of the importance and holiness of their role puts current challenges into perspective. And Bnei Akiva Chaverim, who fully appreciate the miracles of the State of Israel's foundation and continued existence, and thus are well prepared to pass on that appreciation to future generations. Bnei Akiva is more than just a youth movement. We are a society in waiting giving life-changing educational experiences to our Chanachim, empowering them to appreciate the story of our past and to be engaged in building our future. Kadima Bnei Akiva, Yom Ha'atzmaut Sameach.